Well, almost two years after it failed to reach the International Space Station, this could finally be the month the Starliner capsule paves the way toward helping more astronauts launch from Florida. Boeing's second unpiloted test flight is coming up, and NASA is making some preparations on the space station right now. News 6's James Barvero gives us a look at the new video. Separation is confirmed. Astronauts relocating their SpaceX capsule to another port of the International Space Station to make room for a second capsule to dock before the end of the month. Soft capture confirmed. The next one belonging to NASA's other commercial crew program partner, Boeing. In December 2019, while the Atlas V rocket performed flawlessly, Boeing says its Starliner capsule did not fly as planned. Starliner returned to Earth fine, but it took two years of reviews and adjustments before NASA would give Boeing another go at an uncrewed mission to the space station, coming up on the 30th. I will be here for the launch. Chris Ferguson will work the upcoming mission behind the scenes. Ferguson previously was going to fly on Starliner as part of its first crew. And on this day 10 years ago, Commander Ferguson landed at Kennedy Space Center with Space Shuttle Atlantis. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. The shuttle program coming to a final stop after more than 30 years. It's a new age of spaceflight. A lot of commercial partners out there launching rockets day in and day out. It's a lot more busy almost than it was back in the shuttle days, which is wonderful. Since Starliner's first flight test, rival SpaceX has sent three astronaut crews to the station and is planning a fourth for the fall. Next Wednesday, Boeing says the Atlas V rocket and Starliner capsule will roll out to the launch pad. That will be two days ahead of liftoff. At Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, I'm James Sparvero, getting results new six.